This is Calcats the Calcatster, and this is a review of a Blade Right or oh, not Blade. Oh, it says Regan Blade. Things are a Bad Boys Right or Die. Um, yeah, <laughs> Black Bad Boys Right or Die. Previews. Not even gonna talk about them. They weren't impressive at all. Never previews, but yeah. As I should jump right into the review. Uh, it, is, it is nearly time for John Knight, so it's Thursday. Uh, so we have a. Uh, they're allegedly in their early fifties now, and they're and they're uh, they're they, they the bad boys uh, go to a convenience store and somebody tries to rob it, and they go on to do some other stuff. Uh, there's a uh, the, 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 the Martin Lawrence or somebody else. I don't know the other. I know Will Smith is in it. Excuse me if I don't know the other guy at all. Um, anyway, um, so he uh, he has a heart attack. Uh, they, the, the fatter guy has a heart attack. They're doing the Laurel and Hardy thing, the Abbott and Costello thing. Um, that, that, that's that's the shtick, but with buddy cops, uh, similar to Lethal Weapon, that kind of thing. Um, they're supposed to be like, literally like incompetent, but somehow super competent with weapons and other stuff. Huh. Uh, they have. Their, their police chief has died. Uh, there's a wedding in it. Oh, yeah, he, he has a heart attack at the wedding. That's right. Will Smith has a, marries his physical therapist. And the, the character in the, in the movie uh, marries his physical therapist. And then the guy's a heart attack at the wedding. The other guy. And then he has an epiphany where he sees some scenes from the rest of the movie in the epiphany. He wakes up and thinks that he's invincible and runs out of the traffic at one point. It's clearly bonkers. He's like standing there, he runs out of the hospital even though no nurses go after him. Um, it's just kind of weird. Um, after a heart attack. But yeah, there's, there, there's, well, it's, it's comedy. So you can forgive the comedy. I mean, the, the, the gunplay is Miami Vice meets uh, Fast and the Furious. So it's going to be silly. It's in Miami. You don't have Don Johnson have a cameo with us um, as the bad guy. But no, no, he didn't do that. This guy kind of looked like him at one point. But, but yeah, there's, uh, they're, you know, they, they go on an adventure because their police chief is framed by this evil cartel guy and this, and this evil s s senator guy who's clearly a bad guy from the get-go. It's like, it's not even a red herring. It's like, okay, that guy's one of the bad guys. They're not even projecting. They're just like, oh, he's obviously one of the bad guys. And, uh, and Will Smith's son from, I guess, part two, who's a convict, uh, shows up, um, they gotta go bust him out of jail or something, or transport him. The bad guys figure out how to an elaborate coincidences upon upon coincidences to get where they're going. Their plan is bizarre. The, the, the dead police chief captain, and they get the dead police captain's friend, who's in law enforcement, the lawyer guy. They get his password at gunpoint, and then and and he uses his thumb pad to unlock the thing, even though they just killed him. A dead guy shouldn't activate a thumb pad. No, it shouldn't work. He should be dead. Um, but, but yeah, uh, anyway, so, so also that they put money in the cartel's bank from his account somehow that they took from the other cartel. It makes no sense why they would even bother framing a dead guy. That, 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 just make the police department look bad and there's one on the inside or something. And then Will Smith and them got to go ask the son who's in jail as a murderer, drug dealer. Uh, so they got to get him out of jail in order to uh, nail the perpetrator that he might have met at some point in the past. Uh, facial recognition on him. They can't just go to the jail and get that at the jail. Um, apparently not. Um, so... There's an elaborate jail heist sequence. And then there's another sequence where they're on a helicopter and and they the bad guys have somehow hijacked the helicopter, causing them to crash. It doesn't make sense, because why wouldn't they just kill them right there? Like why, why go for all the subterfuge? You're up in a helicopter, just shoot them all. End of the end of the movie. It ends about half an hour in. <laughs> Maybe a little over fifty minutes in. Um, yeah, the uh, yeah, and then they, um, Senator Guy is, of course, evil. And I know the movie's been out for a while, so I'm kind of giving away spoilers, but I'm just kind of rushing through it because it's, it's it's not great enough that it needs, like, a, an a hyper-analysis of a, of a buddy cop movie. It doesn't need that. Um, so we have, um, 
you have a yeah they're, they're convoluted plots the, the different the in order for a conspiracy like that to work why would they they'd have to they'd have to know passwords they wouldn't know they'd have to know connections they wouldn't know even from an old laptop and the signal is beamed out from the old laptop to let the bad boys know what's going on and then there's a signal on a on a painting on a QR code which they're baffled about it's a QR code you know what those are um, <laughs> and um, so um, on a painting there's a painting guy shot he's a bad guy from I guess part three maybe he shows up again uh, there's also a uh, they go out on the run after the copter crashes and they manage to make it back to I guess Florida somewhere near Miami um, and they manage to go to a bar where this sort of drag queen looking lady uh, wants a cunnilingus and uh, but she turns on them um, before she can get the cunnilingus and uh, not that they were interested, they weren't. They were, you know, playing along with it. Um, but, but yeah, so she, and then there's a gang war, and then they go on to a, 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 a third act where they're basically a little, there's a combination of home entry attack uh, cell kind of things uh, going on, in which the, uh, the Marine Corps son of the fat guy uh, takes out 15 bad guy assailants with a machine gun. Uh, all a uh, all, uh, rapid fire, and they're watching this on the very good security cameras that are in the, in the thing. Can we forgive the silly good security cameras because, well, they're cops. Maybe they can afford that stuff. Almost FBI cops or like, like super cops or something. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> but then they have the, uh, you know, they go to this uh, old abandoned uh, alligator park where there's a, where there's a, <laughs> Uh, there's allegedly an albino alligator down there, and there's other uh, other alligators there. Of course, some of the bad guys will get eaten. I won't give that away, but some of the bad guys do get eaten, uh, and also bad guys get shot in the head. So, anyway, so um, yeah, and then everything works out, and the fugitive guy gets to escape because he rescued the daughter of the of the, the she's a special forces lady, state daughter. So, in closing. The bad boys review basically, you know, things happen. As it sells. So yeah, they they pretty much end up where you think they're gonna end up. And there's okay at the end, and he doesn't think he's invincible anymore. And um, uh, they they run along. Uh, they do an awful lot in these movies with them wearing tactical vests and stuff, but no one thinks to shoot them in their bare muscly arms or in their head. It's not the bad guy in the head. But yeah, it's like wait a minute. Uh, just aim for the good guy or the bad guy's head. Just... Oops. I never think of that. Anyway, so yeah, so the movie, uh, yeah, it was fine though. It was, uh, I think it gets up, you know, it had a 65% of Rotten Tomatoes. That makes it a little better than average, I guess. Um, it's fine. It's perfectly salvageable. Um, it's maybe worth a rental later on, on if you want to rent it. No, because it'll be out of theaters probably by by the time uh, you see this review. <laughs> there were three of us in theater. There's three. Yeah, that's how successful this movie is right now. <laughs> uh, the other two were two miles up. Yeah. Mm, so, you know, had boys for life. And they missed out on an opportunity, as some other critics have mentioned that the last one they called Bad Boys for Life, this should have been called Bad Boys for Life. It's part four. Four life with four. Yeah, they, they didn't do that right. Or Bad Boys Forever. Four with a four. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a better title. Yeah. Anyway, so... <laughs>